Houston, we have a problem. Let's watch the video, man. Um, first of all, is this it? Yo, Eli, you got Berlizzi in his mouth? Okay, okay. Hey, Eli dropped a new video, man, and it's featuring some um some colorful characters. Some colorful characters, Let's put it like that, man. So let's see how this come out. Let's do it. Summer camps are the worst. You're out in the wilderness, bugs crawling everywhere, mosquitoes. No electronics, forced to make friends with complete strangers, dirty bathrooms, you name it. I remember this one summer. <laughs> I know you ready for the Will Levi's to Houston announcement. No. Hashtag you dig. No. I won't see this route. I will. I will take um Obro from Florida. I've changed my mind on Anthony on Anthony um Richardson thing. I changed my mind. I like what he got. I like I like I, I think that nigga be a good quarterback. But the problem is he needs a year to develop. The Texans don't have time for that. But that got the tools. That I was watching some videos. I want him. I want that nigga on the team. But also at the same time, he's uh I, I do want CJ Stroud over him though. I want CJ Stroud over him. Will Levis can get the out of town, 100%. But I wouldn't be surprised if they take him. All right, let's go. I want him as crazy. If you say this, we're talking about sports. We're talking about sports. We're talking about sports. If y'all gonna be sus in sports, we're, we're a lost cause. We're a lost cause. Let's be honest, man. When you talk about sports and when you play in sports, a lot of things in sports that are said, it's, it, it sounds sus. But you just realize you're playing sports <laughs> and we're gonna let it rock. All right. Anyways, the camp I went to though, the summer was up, 2013, bro? right in the prime of Black Ops 2. When this game dropped, that's all anyone was playing. That for Minecraft. I'm not about to get into detail about the game. Just playing and you know what's crazy, bro? The thing about Minecraft, I don't know why I played that game, but for one time, one summer, I had got a um. Well, it wasn't summertime. It was maybe close summer. I got an old laptop, installed Minecraft, was on that for hours. I'm talking about, I was such a nerd on that game. My ass made like a uh, XP farm. <laughs> I played Minecraft, yes I did. Yo, Minecraft is actually cool though, I ain't gonna lie. Minecraft really is cool. Like it's good to get on that game and kill some time. Say, oh fuck no, listen. First of all, bro, you watch anime, guapo. It's just paid four hundred and everything that we do is dorky, bro. Fire. Most of us in this bitch came up watching wrestling, bro. Yo, that can be considered dorky. Look, real do dorky, and we just embrace because fuck y'all. What you gonna tell me? Yeah, I played Minecraft. What about it? What about it? Talk to him. What time you say? I'm not a dork. D Rose, you yo D Rose, you had a bar about shurikens. You a nerd, bro. I'm a goofy goober. All right, never mind, bro. My bad, gangster. My bad, my bad, gangster. My bad, my bad, bro, bro. That's fire. No, anyways, what bar? You said something about some motherfucker. You said some hidden leaf. You said some narrow toast. You no, know? I must say something about some Sasuke in your bar then. Hey, you know I'm getting close. Hey, if we spend a game of hot and cold, they'll be like, damn, I ain't gonna lie, this might actually find it. Probably said something about hidden leaf. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. The sig just subscribed. Yeah, was Yeah, you did, nigga. Hidden leaf. Yeah, nigga. Yo, sig. Appreciate you for the guy that got a big nine months coin. Thank you for the gift this up. I appreciate you. And also, uh, Miss Spade. Pre oh, appreciate you. Appreciate you, Miss Spade. All right. Uh, anyway. Uh, what is Mr. Spade? I'm tripping. Anyways. But bro, just talking. No, I'm not. No, I'm not, bro. Like, 
Bro, that Nick, bro, he know he got a hidden leaf bar. That got a hidden leaf bar. All right, bro, it's cool, bro. Don't act like it don't exist. <laughs> Anyways, bro. Um, I see all that to say, man. Minecraft was kind of cool. I ain't gonna lie. She was all right. I didn't know what I was doing on that bit, but it was cool. Simply, if you know, you know. So, judging off the times, there was nothing more I wanted than to get out of school for summer break and grind. No, grind is an understatement. Dedicate my hey, see, life see, I've been good. I've been to good. Black Ops 2. Sadly, this summer ended up being the worst of my life. Bobby, and there's that. only one other summer that comes close to this one. No, scratch that. Uh, Aziza, thank you so much for the sub. Where is Aziza just subscribed? Trey, you remind me of the Enderman. Lilmo70 just subscribed. Lean eyes. I can hear the picture. I see it. You see motherfucking what? Is that you? Let's watch the video an entire year and that was the year i went without wi-fi but the first night of summer my mom comes into my room and hands me her laptop oh okay to tell to out this okay essay. i like that i like this that essay was for a summer camp and they were doing selections based off the essay you submitted the essay wasn't just for any summer camp the summer camp was steve harvey's mentoring camp if you don't know who Steve Harvey is, you've probably seen him on Family Feud. He's the host of the show. He also- Nigga, you went to a Steve Harvey camp? <laughs> hey bro, you gotta, you gotta die with some shit like that. Nigga, Steve Harvey got a camp? I so was a stand-up comedian, a part of the infamous Kings of Comedy group. When I seen this, I was geeked at the opportunity to meet Steve Harvey, <laughs> but at the same time, Black Ops 2 though. About a week later, my mom tells me to pack my bags for a week because I was selected to attend the camp. So here I am about to go out into the middle of nowhere. No electronics with people I don't know. And most importantly, no Black Ops 2. For a whole... Look up Steve Harvey mentor account. Bro, how did you even get... Why were you picked for this? Did y'all wear his suits? <laughs> hey, them niggas in some big ass suits. I'm knowing they wore some big fat daddy ass suits, bro. Fucking fat draft day ass suits. Bro, that nigga, them niggas look like the preachers in like the hot churches with no air. Fat ass suits. Yo, look at Steve Harvey. No way. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> what the fuck were you doing in this? How do you get selected for this? I can't believe, dog. This shit can't be real. Look, he got his fraternity shit on. Look at this nigga. This nigga can't believe it's real neither. You got to fill out, nigga, did you fill out the essay? Who did that? What's wrong with this nigga hair? What the fuck was Steve doing to y'all? My mom made me. Eli, that's one of them things you got to ask mama like, mama, what was the I motivation? I hear that nigga laugh from the pictures. 
Hey, right, that's a fact, bro. Fam, you gotta you gotta ask your mama, mama, what was the motivation for me to go into this? Like, why? Weak. Not gonna lie, I think I was an addict. But the morning came for me to arrive at the camp. They had us all packed on shuttle buses and we're all grabbing our stuff to get off the bus. Suddenly, hey! Everybody drop your motherfucking bags right now! Yeah! Drop all y'all shit! Man, I'm <laughs> damn. Wait. Wait a minute. Run them lines back. Hold on. Your motherfucking bags right now. Yeah. Drop all y'all shit. God damn. Who is that? That boy good. <laughs> hey, both of these two niggas right here, the Hardy Boys. Who is them? <laughs> Run that shit back. All right, y'all chill, bro. Chill, chill. Don't gas me up now. I know I did okay. Chill out. Chill out. <laughs> Everybody drop your motherfucking bag right now. Yeah. Drop all y'all shit. Yeah. Man, I'm not dropping my bags. I don't know who they're talking to. They were thinking Facts, about bro. I know they ain't talking to us like that for real. Oh, so you want to be insubordinate? Yeah. Get your ass off the bus right now. Yeah. Matter of fact, everybody off the bus right now. Damn! No, stop me, stop me, stop. <laughs> bro. I think you say it not believable. <laughs> I ain't not you hating ass nigga. I ain't not you hating ass nigga. Oh. <laughs> hey, he needs an Oscar. Thank you so much. Bro, thank you so much, man. Oh, man, bro. Shout out to Steve for giving me a job. Thank you. I knew it wasn't one take. Listen, you can, shout out, you can, you can ask Eli. Eli is completely unbiased here. I made multiple takes of the same song and I said it in different tones to just to fit the environment, you know what I'm saying? And they all were good. When I saw those drill sergeants run on the bus, bro, I couldn't help but think to myself, bro, my mom sent me to boot camp. Boot camps are for delinquents, juveniles. So that's my nigga, hey, 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 hold on. Let me tell you something. Me and Ricky is dumb as hell, okay? Yo. Ricky is my dog. We are dumb as hell. Yo, I did. <laughs> dog, I'm over here doing my lines, right? And then, so me and Ricky talking about it. Yo, Ricky was like, yo, man, I saw Eli his lines in, man. Yo, that shit was actually pretty cool, man. My, uh, he, was like, he was like, yo, I hate that I was so busy. I wish I would've got it to him earlier, but yo, that shit wasn't too bad. I said, hell yeah, man, that shit was a breeze, man. That shit was cakewalk, that shit was cakewalk. And then, and then nigga said, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, which officer was you? I said, yeah, officer number two. That nigga say, wait, I was officer number two. And me and Ricky sitting in Discord like, sector. yo, stop, sit your hating ass up. Me and Ricky in Discord like, nigga, did we both send Eli the same fucking lines? We really didn't so like, but Ricky, I know we ain't do that, bro. I know, I know we ain't do that shit. <laughs> I know we ain't do that, dog. And then, and then so Ricky said, all right, so what was one of your lines? Everybody off the bus, right now. He said, oh, no, no, we good, we good, we good, we good, we good, we good, we good. <laughs> dog, we are dumb as hell, bro. But yo, shout out to my nigga Eli, this is a dope opportunity. <clears throat> Myself, bro. My mom sent me to boot camp. Boot camps are for delinquents, juveniles, maybe even gangbanger prospects, <laughs> all of which were here, by the way. I just like to play my game. So I didn't see the reasoning for me being here. Also, on a website, the camp looked fun. They had rock climbing, paintball, basketball. They didn't say anything about turning me into Captain America. Shortly after we got off the bus, they made all of us go to this hut where they shaved all of our heads. This, this has to be illegal. Like there's no way 
they're getting away with this. They're doing this to kids. My, oh, my mother man. gave her oldest no way. son up to them. No way, mama get tell me here to mute to cut my hair. Gang. Oh, me and mama not cool for a minute, bro. Military? After this, they let us free to roam the camp. Our curfew was 9.30. That's what happened? Yeah, but not at Steve Harvey camp, I ain't think so. Nigga, won't everybody be bald like him? By then, we would have had to have taken our two minute shower and been in bed. The first night was horrible because we had a kid get bit by a spider in his sleep. Nice a title. lot of kids stayed oh, out longer than curfew. And what made it even worse Thank you, Jones. was the fact that they woke us up at 5 a.m. for PT. None of us knew what we were in store for. You call this a camp? You should have called it a plantation because I'm about to be a runaway slave. They had us running miles, doing push-ups. I get PTSD just thinking about it. Yeah, boys, we're going to wake the sun up this morning. Let's go. Oh, okay, Larick. Okay, Larick. Okay. I can't, I can't keep going. <laughs> Bro, we gotta get. We gotta keep going. Get up. Are you on your knees? I thought you were getting down to do something else. Get off your knees, Private, before I stick something where it doesn't belong. Oh, relax. We supposed to discipline them, not violate their manhood. Damn! Seven Hefe just subscribed. Those military cuts was different. They literally cut my shit in two minutes and left. Hey, I'm annoying as fuck. Hey, <laughs> I'm annoying as fuck. Hey, hey, my bad, y'all. I'm glad to be back on stream. I'm glad. Let me chill. I'm a chill. I'm a chill. No cap, though. No. I really did my thing on that line, though. Thank you so much. Oh, I was talking about my foot. But you just gave me an idea. Hey, yo, the, the next day after PT, we would have breakfast and then they give us the rundown of the camp and how Shut we spend our free time. The First days day, after day. that, we would end up doing a team bonding activity after PT and then have the rest of our day to ourselves to do the same thing all over again. I remember this one day though, it was about seven o'clock. Me and some of the other guys were playing basketball. <laughs> Things were getting pretty heated as there was some trash talking, some hard fouls. You know how serious basketball can get when some of these moments take place. You would have thought Luke and Devin Booker was on the court. My teammate goes up for a layup and gets hard fouled. And what, hey, bro, stop following me. I, I told you about that. Oh, my bad, I guess. Oh, don't worry about it. That's cool. Out of nowhere, my teammate steals this dude. The drill sergeant comes over and is like, oh, I want to fight. Oh, all right then. He goes and gathers okay, all okay, the other okay, drill okay. soldiers at the camp, and they're putting us through what can only be described as agonizing torture. If I would have known this was going to happen for letting my teammates stick this dude, I would have told him to wrap up. <laughs> I apologize. As we're getting tortured, we all have a look of defeat. None of us look like we're going to make it Rick through was the in his bag, not going to lie. But then I see it, in his bag. a glimmer of light. A it's beacon. Fucking I can see it. I, I can almost grab it. It's coming closer. Then it becomes clear. Wait, that's not a beacon. That's a bald head. No way. <gasps> what the hell? It's Steve. <laughs> Who the fuck? Voice Steve. <laughs> Who the fuck? Boy, Steve, nigga. <laughs> Thank God you did not give me Steve Harvey because you would have sent me the fuck up. Oh, my God. No way. <gasps> what the hell? It's Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey oh showed up and taught God. the whole camp a lesson about trusting God, not giving Berlin, up on your dreams, staying Dog. focused, and forgiving those who've done us wrong. Honestly, at this camp, I learned a lot of Bro. valuable lessons. Lessons that I still use to this day. They taught me discipline, teamwork, determination. It also taught me that the army isn't for me and never will be. But I say all this to say it was a great experience. I even had a one-on-one -on -one with...
I tried to be smart and get my shit cut with a shape up before so they wouldn't fuck with my shit. Main this hating ass nigga cut my line up. <laughs> Talking about ain't no line up in God's military. Ah, Boy, fuck you. Bro, Head shiny. Bro, dog. You know how, how, how much nigga gotta hate you for a nigga to do this to your line up? Bro, you a hoe. You is a real life hoe, bro. Hey, Jay Diggy. Hey, first of all, shout out to, shout out to Jay Diggy out my niggas that like, that did this army shit. Cause I, I look, I'm telling y'all. I can only imagine how y'all niggas felt because one barber did me extra wrong before. I told the story again and again and again, so I won't do it. Too, I won't. I won't be too quick. I went to a Hispanic barber for the first time. I, my whole life, I only had black people cut my hair. Man, shout out to my Hispanic barbers. I know some of y'all cold on the Clippers. My first experience was so bad. I don't think I'm ever gonna go back again, man. I'm saying respectfully, respectfully, dog. I sit in the barber chair and a nigga gonna ask me, "Yo, you want with the gang with the grain or against it?" Now, nigga been cutting my hair the same way the whole time. Ain't no nigga ever, ever. Nigga, nigga got new options. I'm like, nigga, what the fuck is that? I ain't know no better. I'm like, oh, I don't really know what that is. I got you. The nigga went in my head and went. He cut the front of my head backwards. As soon as he did that. And this was right when I decided, yo, I'm about to get waves. I was brushing my little hair and shit, sleeping with a do-rag, getting a little bitty ripples. That nigga cut all the damn bitches down. And then cut my head back I said, yo, it's a different level of hurt when you go, oh, hey, look, you go from denial, like, oh, I can't believe this, to acceptance real quick. I went, just had to let him finish. I can't get up. Cause he started directly in the middle of my shit. I had to let him finish. So I can only imagine how niggas in the military feel. Them niggas cut y'all motherfucking hair, bro. Dog, oh, that shit hurt, bro. Boy, that, and nigga, and guess what? I wrote the bus to that shop. That mean I had to get back on the bus in the whole car ride. I put this on my mama. I'm looking out the window like this in the bus. The bus rocking up. Just sick. Sick, bro. Nigga, fuck me up, dog. Sick. Steve Harvey and he saw. Nigga was looking like Rosa Parks. What the fuck is your problem? All the vision. Maybe if I didn't go to this camp, y'all wouldn't be here watching this video today. The day the camp was over. Nah, Eli, Eli, you would have been here. You just would have been extra nice on Black Ops 2. You would have had time to, you know what I'm saying, grind. I realized I met some cool people. Stop grabbing that damn ball emote. The camp wasn't even bad. Steve is doing a great thing for plenty of boys to soon be men out there. But man, I couldn't wait to get back home and play Black Ops 2. Thanks, Steve. I was still nice on BO2, what you mean? Stop it. Stop it. Eli, hey, this is my first time ever having the opportunity of doing voiceovers, W video. I appreciate you for the opportunity, gang. And let me tell you what, the Eli and Trey collab is on the way. Wait a minute, Eli. Oh, I, 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 I thought you missed my name. I'm about to say, damn, Eli, my lines wasn't good. Nigga took me out of the, the shot outs. But, <laughs> but hey, the Eli and Trey collab is on the way. All right, it's on the way, 100%. So we did one for his channel. Time to do one for mine. I did my thing on that video. Y'all some hating ass niggas.